you are the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the rock of ages, the I am that I am, the alpha and the omega of our lives. You have been so faithful to us in praise tabernacle. Father, we say, may your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this. Thank you for today's gathering. Thank you because you are in our midst. Thank you because you are starting and you are going to end with us. We say, may your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Marie Kelly Bozun Chayadada, Rakatali Bragada Makuli Kregade Shete Yedede, Zukatali Bragada Makori Kata Seyadada, La Makuri Kende Yegoro San Chayadada. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we worship your majesty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Even thank you for praying Tabanaku in six years now. Father, this can only be you. We are hell and healthy. We are not, no, none of us is in the hospital. We are not in the mortuary. We don't have a, we don't have to stand up a minute for anybody. Father, we say thank you, Lord. I hear, I hear we worship your majesty. We lift your name on high. Thank you on behalf of our pastors. Thank you for all the pastors in Praise Tabernacle. Thank you for all the ministers. Thank you for all the workers. Thank you for women. Thank you for men. Thank you for the children. Father, we acknowledge you. We know you are the source of our joy. We say may your name may not be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of, King of Glory, for in Jesus' wonderful, most precious and excellent name we have prayed. Good evening, church. Praise the Lord. Firstly, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord. He's, so, he's a faithful God. He's awesome. He can only be God. For me standing in your front, in your, in, uh, me standing here tonight, it is to the glory of God. And I return all glory, honor, and adoration to him. I appreciate him. I also want to tell Pastor Evans, our pastor in charge of Praise Tabernacle, thank you so much. I do not take for, this for granted. I want to thank all the pastors, all the, the, even the ministers, the workers, even all of you that are seated here. I thank God. I appreciate you. Thank you for granting me this opportunity to be in your presence and to come and dish out the word of God to us. I pray that as we proceed, the Lord will be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. He will open our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we prayed. Praise the Lord, church. So the topic before me in this faith clinic is complaining or reporting. Complaining or reporting. Are you complaining or you are reporting to God? Are you complaining? Are you murmuring or you are reporting your issue to God? Or you are reporting your case to God? Praise the Lord. And my text is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 41, 41 verse 21. I read. I'm reading from NIV version, and it says, Present your case, say the Lord. Set forth your argument, say Jacob's king. This Bible passage is telling us, you don't, need to, you don't need to complain. What do you need to do? All you need to do is to report to God. If you are tired of that situation, except you are not tired. If you are tired, you don't need to complain, because no amount of, if you, if you like, complain from today to tomorrow, nothing is going to work. But just report the case to God and you will see him in action. Hallelujah. I want to read a story to us in the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. I'm also reading it from the NIV version. And it says, Matthew 8, 1 to 4. When Jesus came down from the, from the mountainside, large crowd followed him. Two, a man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Three, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately, he was cleansed. He was cleansed of his leprosy. Four, then Jesus said to him, see that, see that you don't tell anyone, but go show forth yourself to the priest and offer the gift of Moses. Offer the gift Moses commanded as testimony to them. Praise the Lord. That man was afflicted with leprosy. Just like you and I. Maybe we are sick of something. Something is bothering us. Something is going on with us. And we are we kept, we kept, no, we, we are only seeing ourselves face to face. We are only facial appearance. That's what we are seeing. A lot of us are going through a lot of things. And we are hiding. Nobody is seeing it. So instead of you to be keeping it, why not report it to God? And let God take control. 
what the man, the, all, all this, all the year, the man kept quiet. He remained a victim of that disease, that leprosy. When the, I'm sure when the leprosy was almost, they almost to kill him. That way we were like, ah, I'm, I think I, I got to report this to God. And he reported it. And immediately he was made oh. Okay? He was made oh. Praise the Lord. Also in the book of, in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4. If, if you want to really get the story, read from 1 to 7. Similar things happened there. A prophet's widow and two sons suffer so much under their creditors who decide to take the boys as slaves. The woman could no longer bear it. It's so she could no longer, longer she could no longer bear it. So she had to report the case to God's servants. I'm talking about Elijah. Elijah. He reported the case to him, and because he reported the case to child's God, as in to, to a prophet of God, her story changed completely from poverty to abundance. I pray that whatever we are going through, that we have just been complaining, we've been murmuring. I pray that tonight the Lord will open our understanding to report the issue to God and God will take perfect control in the mighty name of Jesus. God expects you to report your need to him. If anything is disturbing you, if anything is disturbing you, all you need to do is report to God. And, and even if anyone is disturbing you, report him to God. Anything at all, just report to God. You don't need to report to anybody, report to God. And auto automatically, God will, God will be involved in that situation. Just make sure of your salvation. No matter, just make sure that you are saved. Don't deceive yourself, you know. Not one leg, one leg in, one leg out. Just make sure you are saved. And I can assure you, the Lord will swing into action immediately. Praise the Lord. The reason many people hardly receive divine, in, divine intervention is because they prefer to talk to men than God. They prefer to talk to men than God. Most of us Christians prefer to look for those who, are, who will sympathize with us. They can only... See, see, like I always sympathize with you. A lot of people like, ah, oh, sorry, hey, yeah, oh, oh, hey. It is where, after everything you have said from A to Z. If you like, spend one hour there, spend two hours there, tell you it is where. Because you can't blame them. They are human beings. They are passing through their own too. They have their own. For the fact that they did not open their mouth to tell you what they are passing through, does not mean they are not passing through any issue. Praise the Lord. You go, you go to man, you start complaining from here to that, from, from morning to night, hoping that you get something. Yes, the, the help you are required, well, the, the help you require from them, the man cannot give it to you. You won't blame him. He's a woman being. He has blood running in his vein. He has blood running in his vein. In his vein. So you don't even need to hold, don't, don't hold him, don't hold him against him or her. That ah, I went to this person. I will say we are Christian. I will say we are brethren. And he or she could not do it. You don't need to. By doing that, you are even watching yourself the more. Praise the Lord. So why do we waste so why do we waste so much time on those who cannot help you, and spend little time on God who, who is ready to help you? Most of us, instead of it should be in your, in your even though if it's in your room, in a corner of your room, start start, start, talk, start talking to God, start reporting to you one after the other. Carry it, as in the, God have given us manual. Manual, a Bible is our manual. So keep talking to him. You will see that even some revelation will keep coming that will, that will give you solution to that thing you are going through. Instead of you going to somebody's house, instead of you going to one of, one, of, one of your uncle, your sister, your this, your that. Stay with God. And I, I promise you that God will answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not expected to report your problem to church leader or pastor because they say that they can, they can sympathize with you. No. You are reporting it to them so they can pray alongside with you. Not that ah, if I tell pastor, hey, pastor will now come and sympathize, you know. You will, pastor have his issues too. Pastor have what is going through. He has what is going through. Your leaders, your church, your, um, what is it called? Elders in the church, they have what they are going through. Your leaders, even your HOD, has what is going through. So you don't need to like, ah, like if I tell them, nah, they, they must do something. Entitled mentality. They must do something. Under must no. You are reporting it to them so that they can pray along with you, and everything will be said to. Maybe you are thinking, ah, by by, by the time I, I by the time I tell this uh, person now, oh, I'm sure that my he has to roll. He has three cars. After all, he has four cars. He has, has five houses. 
They have about 20 shops. He's controlling. Do you know what? Do you know what it is? Do you know what? Do you know those people that are on his neck? You don't know. You don't know. So all you need to do is just report to your pastor. If, if, if you want to report to your pastor, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not against you. It's fine. But report to him so that he can pray along with you. So he can pray along with you. I pray that the Lord will open our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Many secrets. Many of our secrets are freely given to the enemy in the process of complaining. When you start complaining, you don't even know. There's nowhere you cannot complain. There's nowhere you cannot talk. There's nowhere you cannot say something just for people to, to pity you or to make no, it's not they won't. They won't. Rather, you are giving them information about yourself. But if you can if, if you can cultivate the habit of reporting to God, your secret will remain secret. Because with God, your, your secret is so sure, it's so safe. It should, it should be flying, it should, it, should, it should not be flying on the air. Praise the Lord. Stop complaining. Stop, stop complaining. Everybody has issues. Everybody has issues. Even pastors have issues. If, they, if, some pastor, if some pastor open their mouth and tell you what they, are, what they are going through, in fact, your case will just keep mouth shut. You will say, no, I won't talk again. Rather, you will face God and talk to God. At times, we would have, of course, in, some, in most cases, you are a good man, you are a good woman, you've been so good to people, you've been so good. When you have, there's nothing you cannot give, there's nothing you cannot do. So when your issue comes now, you're like, ah, after all, I'm a good person now. I, I have done for but so, 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 I've done so. So because of that, let me go and meet uh, Brother so, Lagbaja to come and help me uh, on your own. No, that's on your Because that like, Brother Lagbaja said, might not even, even though if you have, if God does not place it in his heart to help you, <laughs> so <laughs> he won't do anything he will not do anything so what am I saying in essence let's report our cases to God not man and stop complaining reporting is different from complaining if you are complaining God said he hates mama he said he, said he hates those people that complain don't complain report your case to him and you will see him switch to action praise the Lord Like I was saying, I, there was a scripture I come about I got last, last, I think it's last week, when I was reading my, when I was studying the word of God. So I was like, ha. so even though if I, if, if I have done something good to anybody, and that person maybe stab me or do anything, so I don't even need to be angry, because there's a scripture for that person. And God have out, God knows how to handle them. In fact, God will handle them the way that even you, you will pity them. Let's go to the book of, um, Proverbs 17 verse 13. I'm also reading from the NIV version. And it says, Evil will never leave the ass of those who pay back evil for good. When I saw this, I was like, wow, this is deep. So, you see that you don't even need to, eh, because I've done this, because I've done that, ah, and it's not, just leave, the, just leave them. God knows how to handle them. It's here. It's here. When you get home, read it. It's the book of Proverbs 17 verse 13. He said, evil will never leave the hands of those who pay back evil for good. So if they are doing good, just keep doing your good. If they, are, if, if, they are, if, if, if they are paying you back with evil, leave them. Let them pay you back with evil. This is the word of God and it's one that says it. He said, evil, evil will never leave their house. So you and I, in fact, I was like, God, even though somebody give me just a cup of water, I will never pay that person back with evil. May God help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So, I want, I want us to be on our feet now so that we can start prayer because it's a it's prayer section, actually. I just use that like, so that we know what we want to pray, we want to pray for. Praise the Lord. Let's be on our feet. Let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for all that God has been doing in your life as individual, as family. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let him know that you know that he's the one behind you. Let him know that you know that it's not your strength that has been carrying you. When they were shouting 2024, 2024, it's like heaven wants to fall. But you and I, we are still here. We are still eating, no? <laughs> we are still eating. We are with children. Our children are still, where they were still able to pay school fees. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let him know that you know that he's the one. It's not by your strength. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we worship your majesty. Father, I appreciate you, Lord. King of glory, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Jesus, for this word. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everlasting Father, we worship your majesty. Despite what is going on in Nigeria, you have been so faithful to us. You have been so kind to us. You never left us alone for a second. Father, we say, may your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have. Prayer number two. Let's say, Father, everywhere I've been complaining, instead of reporting to you, let your mercy speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our mouths and pray. Father, Lord Jesus, wherever I have, wherever that I need to be reporting to you that I've been complaining, let your mercy speak for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it please you to have mercy upon me. Wherever that I needed to be to be reporting case to you, and I've been complaining, Father, let it please you to have mercy upon me. Let it please you to have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's say, Oh Lord, my Father, empower me not to complain, but to report my case to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, empower me, O Lord. Empower me, O Lord. I don't want to complain again. Rather, I want to present the case to you so that you can help me. You are the only one that can help me. Nobody can help me except you. In the name of Jesus Christ, nobody can help me, Lord. Father, you are the only one that can help me. Aye, aye, help me. King of glory, help me. Lord of Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father. I am tired of complaining. Father, please empower me, O Lord, so that I will only be reporting. I will never complain again. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father, because I know you are the one that can do it. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's say, Father, as you empower me, help me patiently to wait until your aunt, my answer is answered in the name of Jesus. On that prayer, as is answered. Tell God now, oh Lord, help me as you have empowered me. Help me to be patient, to patiently wait for you in the name of Jesus until I receive my answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, help me to patiently wait for you, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. As an individual, Father, help me. As a family, help me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let me wait patiently for your answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me wait patiently for your answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you that I am that I am. I worship your majesty. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Let's say, oh Lord, my Father, draw me more closer. Draw me more closer and see me through as I'm taking this giant step in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you are taking that giant steps, giant step of reporting your case to God, not complaining. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, draw me more in the name of Jesus. Draw me more closer in the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, draw me more closer in the name of Jesus and see me through as I'm taking this giant step. Zubare Kerede, Zantaya Baba Baba Baba, Le Kataya Braga Mashaya Bobo, Father Lord Jesus, Father, help me in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to take this giant step of just reporting my case to you, not complaining. Father, draw me closer and help me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's say, Father. We commit and praise Tabanaku unto your humble heart. Oh Lord, be the word of fire around praise Tabanaku in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouths. As you are praying for praise Tabanaku, you are praying for yourself because this structure is just a building. You and I, we are the praise Tabanaku. So let's say, Father Lord, be the word of fire around praise Tabanaku. As God is building the word of fire around praise Tabanaku, He's building the word of fire around you. Father, be the word of fire around your church, oh Lord. Let gates of air not prevail in the name of Jesus. In praise Tabernacle, oh Lord. Father, be the word of fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Be the word of fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Let's say, Father, we commit every member of praise Tabernacle. Unto your own humble hand, Lord. Father, you will take charge in the name of Jesus. In their lives, oh Lord. See to it that you take charge. 
in the name of Jesus. Let the devil not triumph over them. In the name of Jesus, you can personalize. You can personalize because you are praying for yourself. Father Lord Jesus, every members of praise Tabernacle see to it that you take charge of their life. In the name of Jesus, let devil, let devil not, let devil not tear them. In the name of Jesus, let devil not even come closer to them, nor their children, nor the wife, nor the husband. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, see to it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Let the Father every evil arrow fire from the kingdom of darkness to any member of praise tabernacle we return it back now in the name of jesus masoye brogodo likari dada le kata yaba shekele dede zu kata limari kari bobo zekete yebo shata yababa the bible says you should declare it in and it shall be established say it now lord jesus every arrow from dark world send into any member of praise tabernacle we reverse it back in hundredfold in the name of jesus christ we reverse it back in hundredfold in the name of Jesus Christ. We reverse it now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's pray for our pregnant women. Praise Tabanaku. Let's say, Father Lord, every pregnant woman, praise Tabanaku. Father Lord, the day of their delivery will be so easy in the name of Jesus. The Lord will be the doctor. He will be their doctor in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's tell it to God now. We will not cry over them. We will not mourn over anybody. We will see, their, we will see the, the, mother, the mother will be alive. The children will be alive in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, our pregnant women, oh Lord, we committed them into your own eye. We know you are the only one that can do it. You have been helping us, Lord. Father, help us, Lord. Father, help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's pray for all our our. All our and our women looking for the fruit of the womb. Let's tell it to God. He said, He said in his house it shall be fruitfulness. Let's say, Oh Lord, my father, everyone, everyone looking for fruit of the womb in praise tabernacle. Father, you have been doing it. We we'll remember then every Wednesday we must go for Nemi. Father, Lord Jesus, see to it, oh Lord, that they carry their babies in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, if there's anything we have done, maybe secretly or we don't even know. Let your mercy speak, oh Lord. Open their wombs, oh Lord. Open Put your wombs, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, as you started with us then, that every Wednesday we must have naming ceremony. Father, we want that time to come back, oh Lord. Father, do it in the name of Jesus. Father, do it in the name of Jesus. Every month, oh Lord, that we used to have the baby dedication. Father, please do it, oh Lord, do it for us, oh Lord. If there is anything that is blocking this, let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Father, put a smile on their face, O Lord. Put a smile on their faces, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's pray for our children that are resuming this Monday and those that have resumed. That the Lord will be the word of fire around them. No evil will befall them. There are some things I saw on, on social media that is trending. That they were bullying each other. Let's tell it to God, oh Lord. My children will not sit with a wicked child in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I soak my children into the precious blood of Jesus. As they are going to school, Father, they may not be able to tell me. But you, God, you know. So you will not even allow it at all. They will not sit with a devil in the mighty name name of Jesus. My children will not sit with the devil. They will not sit with the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be the word of fire around them in the name of Jesus Christ. Be the word of fire around our children in the name of Jesus. Is there anything the children cannot tell us, oh Lord? Father, tonight, open their mouth. Let them say it now and deliver them totally in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anything they have threatened them not to say? That he will not go and be waiting for them at future, oh Lord. Father, open their mouth, oh Lord. Father, by yourself, let them say it now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and deliver them totally, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, King of glory. We worship your majesty. We lift your name on us. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Let's pray for our singles among us. We have singles. 
among us. Let's say, Father Lord, this is 2024. We want to, we want to have another wedding. We want to have another, not just wedding, or another glorious wedding in praise Tabernacle. Let's tell it to God now, oh Lord. Every of our single brothers and single sisters, oh Lord, Father, connect them divinely in the name of Jesus. Father, connect them divinely in the name of Jesus. Father, connect them divinely in the name of Jesus. Connect them, oh Lord. Connect them, oh Lord. Connect them, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Connect them to the bone of their bones, uh, the ribs of their ribs, uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, connect them, Lord. Connect them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Now let's pray for Nigeria because Nigeria is sick and we need to pray. Though we have been praying, some people say we've been praying. Nigeria cannot be better again. Me, I'm not in that category. I know that Nigeria will be better in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because whatever we believe, that's what we happen. I know that Nigeria will be better. So let's say, Father we know Nigeria is sick. Father take charge in the name of Jesus Christ. It is true that we have been praying for Nigeria but we will not stop until we see changes in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus Father heal your land oh Lord. Father heal Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father heal your land Lord. Father heal your land Lord. Father heal Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Father heal Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Even he those that needed to be healed in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Every of our leaders that needed to be healed, oh Lord, Father, heal them in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, Father, heal them in the name of Jesus. King of glory, heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. We are still praying for Nigeria. Let's pray for Nigeria economy. That, oh Lord, take charge over our economy in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Children, open your mouth and tell God, Father, take charge of our Nigeria economy in the name of Jesus Christ. As the economy is going bad, Father, stand up, oh Lord. Father, take charge, oh Lord. We all can do it. To you. Father, we are reporting this to you right now. Father, do it, oh Lord. Father, see to our economy in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, see to our economy in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Are you right? See to our economy in Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no word body we can talk to, there is no where we can go. You have told us that we should report this case to you. That we should stop complaining. Father, we don't want to complain again. We don't want to complain that rights have gone up. We don't want to complain that fuel have gone up. Father, Lord, we are reporting to you that you should take charge in the name of Jesus. Take charge of our economy. Take charge of Nigeria economy in the name of Jesus Christ. Take charge of Nigeria economy in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. A lot of people are seeing revelation that there is war in Nigeria since last year. In fact, in church, almost four people told me, and I saw it too. Let's say, Father, in Nigeria, there will not be war. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Nigeria, there will not be war. You have shown us, we have prayed about it. We have canceled it. It will not happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will not be war in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will not be war in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, if we not gone by it and viral, there will not be war. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there will not be war in the name of Jesus Christ, ah, Lord, who called Jesus, oh, go on more, 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 on behalf of our children, on behalf of our husbands, on behalf of our wives, in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, the Nigeria and Ogombo, receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Those of us that are family, far, let's tell it to God, Lord, I will not receive bad call in the name of Jesus. Tell it to God. Now, it's a personal prayer that, oh Lord, my Father, I will not receive bad call in the name of Jesus. I will not receive bad call in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not receive bad call. Nothing is broken. Nothing is missing in the name of Jesus. I will not receive any bad call in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing is broken. Nothing is missing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not cry over anybody, over any of my loved ones, and they will not cry over me oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell it to God now. Somebody is planning something, but tell it to God that you will not receive bad call. In the name of Jesus, you will never receive bad call. Any call you will receive, it will be good call. It will be good, joyous call. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. 
let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's tell him thank you because we know that we have reported the case to him and he has answered our prayers. So appreciate him that God will thank you. Father, we worship your majesty. Father, we lift your name on high. Thank you for answering my prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I will not receive bad calls in the name of Jesus over any of my family, over any of my distance family. I will not receive bad call in the name of Jesus. Any call that I will receive be good news in the name of Jesus. It shall only be good news. It will only be good news. Only good news is permitted in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Only good news is permitted in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject bad call in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject bad calls in the name of Jesus. I reject it. I cancel it. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. According to the word of God, the book of Isaiah 7:7. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masoreboli Kedede, Zatayarada, Le Karibo Mashen Katayaboloria. Thank you, King of Universe. Thank you, Everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Everlasting Father, we worship your majesty. Thank you because no matter what, no matter what we are going through, whenever we climb this altar, you are always there to answer our prayer. You are always seeing to our situation. Father, we say may your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Everything we have discussed today, every of the prayer we have prayed today, Father, I still live with the blood of Jesus. I be the word of fire around each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow's vision, you will take charge in the name of Jesus. You will take control in the name of Jesus and you will draw your people near in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father, for in Jesus' wonderful, most precious and excellent name we prayed. Whenever I call you, you're always there as my source. Let's wish I have fought and Whenever I need of Zion. That God has used to bless us tonight. Let us pray that the vessel that has gone out of her, God should replenish her more. Let us pray that she will go from glory to glory. Let us pray that as she has watered us tonight, Almighty Father will water her more in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless your holy name for your daughter that you have used to bless us this evening into your hand. Father, we pray and we ask that in blessing, Holy Spirit of God bless her. Father, I also ask that you fill her with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. That virtue that has gone out of her, O oh Lord, Father, replenish her and fill her more with the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. And continue to use her as a vessel unto honor in your vineyard in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Praise the Lord. Is anyone paying his tight or her tight, even as we are seated in the church auditorium? Or we have transferred our tight to the church account. Let us rise to our feet. Or we want to do a transfer, you can send it to the church account number 101 586 5372. The account name is ROCCG Praise Tabernacle and the bank is Zelen Bank. Is anyone like that in the house? I've done that before I come to church this evening. You rise to your feet. Or as we are sitting. And people may fail you. Even alone we stay. Oh, Samiria.